All right, this is day two of the NE City show. Yesterday, no filming at all. Today, hopefully I'll do a bit more. Actually, it's easy to do a bit more than nothing, isn't it? <clears throat> Just taking a photo of the car park so that I know which one I'm in. So I'm here a bit earlier today to <clears throat> get some breakfast. I know there's a weather spoons up here. So it's a very strange thing doing it on your own. Um, just got to get on with it, you? This is quality caravan vlogging. I know a lot of people, well, a few people have contacted me um, saying that they can't get in because of dogs. Uh, dogs aren't allowed in, which is really weird because don't they have crossed at the NEC? Anyway, I kind of understand it, but I mean, obviously dogs wouldn't go in caravans, but <clears throat> surely you could just walk them around. Anyway, that's another thing. So I'm just here on the Swift stand. Uh, hall, don't know what hall it is, but Swift have a big presence here. So I personally am interested in the Conqueror, which we've got here. Now they dropped the Conqueror, and when we bought our Swift in 2021, the Challenger, um, they dropped the Conqueror because we would have got a Conqueror, I think, if they were available, but they're back anyway. And what they've done, they've kind of sneaked it in between the Challenger and the Elegance. So um, looking very much, you can see, you know, where it's different from the Challenger. Well, So very similar layout to the 650 we've got. I try not to move too quickly. There's so many uh, reviews I see that kind of move in a bit too quickly. Um, so yeah, the sink, it's fairly decent, I suppose. It's not, at least it's not the, um, uh, you know, the bowl one that they had. Again, very similar to our Although a bit brighter maybe. Good showers, always got good showers. And then they've gone with the white cupboards, which, you know, I, what I was gonna do, I, before, I did, before I did any reviews, I said that what I wouldn't do is say anything personal about what I'd like and what I'd dislike. Because if you've got one of these, you don't want to hear me saying, oh, this ain't very good or that ain't very good. You you know, you like your caravan, that's great. But I will say a little bit of personal stuff is that we're not overly keen on the white, although it does look good. So again, USB, I'm just looking at what's different to the Challenger. There's USB, light switch over there. So it really does, it really does fit, fit right in between the Challenger and the Elegance. Really nice big skylight there. Silver and white. That was a 560. So there's an example of um, a Conqueror. Now they have changed the back as well. One thing I do like about Swift are the lights. Now a lot of other caravan manufacturers, they let themselves down when it comes to the back, but looking good. So a quick comparison with the Elegance. So that was the Conqueror, and then the Elegance here. See, they've done, they redone the front here, which I think it's quite a, quite a brave move because it is. They've gone back to white rather than the carbon fibre look but they've kept the carbon fibre kind of striped through there, which is quite nice. The thing is, in these lights, so they look very shiny and very plasticky, which of course they are, but... So elegance again. Again, they haven't put any cards in yet, so this is the 835. So elegance, here we go. Um, uh, this is eight foot wide. I think I said the Conqueror was, but this is. Now they only do the elegance in eight foot wides now. It's 
you do notice the extra width. Now, <clears throat> whether you need extra width or not, now what we, when we had the Bailey, we had the, is it more open plan than this? Um, didn't have the doors there. And we thought that maybe when you got the doors there, it might make it a bit enclosed. What it does do, it kind of makes it a bit cosier. Um, wireless charging point there, that's great. I, you know, they've added this shelf but then there's no shelf up there, so they push this forward. Uh, drinks cabinet. Don't know about drinks cabinet. I mean, yeah, this, yeah. Uh, this is different as well from the Challenger. Certainly, it's a bit of an L-shaped thing going on there. Upgraded cooker with different. Now this bathroom is is nice because it's really big. That sink's okay. Good bit of space around there. Um, nice little wardrobe there. Big wardrobe as well. Now the overflow. Um, so that looks like that bed's, yeah, that bed's fully out, right? Now this is the reason why we changed from the Bailey. Well, not not the caravan, really. It was the layout. So we didn't get on with a transverse bed. Sorry, to, I'm talking over this guy. But I've got a rucksack on my back. I'm not going to try and get through there. But has gone through a rigorous assessment to ensure it remains the Leave it up to you, whether you think this is a good size or not. We're all different, obviously. We all like different things, so that's the elegance. Twenty twenty three elegance there. So while I'm in it, I'll do a comparison with the the other caravans I've just showed you in the Swift range with the Sprite. So um, some of these caravans have music on, which is okay, you might think, but YouTube is a funny beast. Okay, this has got this has got music playing, but I'm going to go in there, and if I get a, a, a copyright strike, I'll do the voiceover afterwards. So this is the Sprite Grande. So again, eight foot wide. Um, caravan so if you don't want to see me do you let's go in right voiceover vlogger here so this is the sprite now you'll notice that the finishing is a bit more basic obviously they've had to save money somewhere because the van is cheaper uh, things like the finish finishing on the cupboards no swift command there you'll see um, as we pan round here it's transverse bed wardrobe to the right um, smaller fridge, um, same tap actually as on the Challenger, um, slightly cheaper looking cooker I'd say, um, enough room to get round here, um, no style over substance here, this is substance over style I guess with the sink there, um, good size shower, as we pan round again you see nice van it is a good quality van although not as expensive as the others i've just shown you back to me at the show right so they were playing music in there so i couldn't talk but i will talk over very nice of sprites so it, i mean manufacturers don't like you saying they're entry levels but you know what they are but in the eight foot wide version it's a very smart caravan and you know caravans for all budgets really depending whether you want something that's a bit more luxury shall we say or more entry level they've got it all swift don't they really well, I just want a quick look at a Challenger this is a 480 but the SE I don't know a great deal about the SE it seemed to be positioning itself at kind of where the dealer special was <clears throat> so at the moment I've no idea how much it is but anyway so yeah, again, there was music, a voiceover vlogger here again. Um, if this keeps up, I will need paying. So this is the Challenger SE. Now I'm not sh too sure on the specs, but it looked a bit sort of sort of in between the um, Challenger and the Sprite again. Like a lot of white on show here, white cupboards, very light work tops, very airy caravan, although it wasn't particularly big. Um, microwave in the middle, which we like. Good big fridge. 
um, one of the same as I got in the Challenger. Um, nice nice sink <laughs> keep going on about sinks but they are a power heater of mine big shower there um, plenty of storage space and really bright and airy even, although it's not a large caravan yeah we like this and it would suit a, a small family very well again nice carpets there good open space there back to me at the show okay Swift, if you watch my vlogs, I'm sure you do, can you not play music in the caravans? It makes it very challenging when we're wandering about and there's maybe copyrighted music playing. So that was the 480. I just wanted to just show you basically... Yeah, that was the 480, so I just basically wanted you to show you the inside of an SE as um, they're new for this year as far as I know. Also, the Challenger Grand Day is, am I saying that right, Grand Day, Grand Day? The Challenger Grand Day is new for this year as well, so it's the eight foot wide Challenger. Grande SE Challenger. See, this Swift has so many models. I suppose it's something for everybody. Uh, so, lastly, I want to just look in the Elegance 850 Grande. Again, eight, eight foot wide. No music playing in this one, good. So is this what, um, is this what Caravan Addies have got? You know, they had their million, they had their lottery win. I'm joking, they didn't, but they've got a um, brand new Elegance, haven't they? If you watch their channel, if you don't watch their channel rather, have a look and subscribe. Looks like it's got an upgraded Alder. Mine doesn't look like that. Oh, I knew it was not a good idea to put the camera there. Six, you know, sink's good this year. Sink vlogger. Hmm, interesting. They've gone with these <coughs> curved wardrobes, which I think's good because I don't know how you open I'd have gone Adria style the ones at the bottom so narrow at the bottom wider at the top where you put your clothes I guess out of heating see this actually feels longer than our 650 and I think it's just the arrangements of the wardrobes there and the shelf goes all the way back and because it's wider yeah you, because it's wider you can fit that shelf bit in there which is good tv point obviously yeah so for me i mean in a previous vlog i joked about the use of black in the elegance now they've toned it down quite a bit um because they kind of had sort of black here um maybe white there and black here but they've and white over there possibly it was just a bit of a mix match now i'm no design or style guru as you can tell but mandy advises me on things like this and she has a good point yeah this is much better i do like this in fact maybe if if we were buying a caravan now, I might be able to convince Mandy to look at the elegance because it's certainly 
tone down a lot of the oddities that we'd fought previously. And you know, there's quite a lot of upgraded kit on these. You know, things like the tap, the cooker, um, the fridge. That looks like an upgrade. Uh, it's got swift command, which challenge on that doesn't. And then this outer control is different to ours. Um, lock, the lockers are certainly deeper than the um, Challenger, or because they have this bowed uh, aircraft style top. No shelf here, which surprisingly how much how much we use that shelf. don't know enough about it whether this is upgraded interior or not this kind of I don't know it's fake lever I don't know but very nice like I say if like I say if Swift have got had got their act together the previous year we probably would have got that although there is an uplift in price so that might have made a difference but that's the 850 but they do do they do do nice rears, especially the back lights. Bike rack already on. And they've changed the graphics as well and incorporated some red. Pretty racy. Very nice, swift. Warning lights as well. See, for me, the eight foot wide ones look a lot wider than just the six inches or whatever it is um, that they are. What do you think about the front? Kind of jazzed it up a bit. Looks like they've got a more of a premium jockey wheel on there as well. The Alco one. So caravan adage, do you wish you'd waited for the 2023 version? Well yours is very nice, but this has little little bits that um, make it different certainly. There you go, that's the Elegance 650 Grande, 850 Grande. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe as always. I'll leave you with a last look. Right, thanks for done. <laughs> yeah, cheers. So thanks for watching. That was a, one of my vlogs from the NEC, uh, Swift Caravans. So I've got a few more reviews coming up. So um, I've got the an Adria Rio Grande, a couple of Baileys. Um, so I'm just checking my notes. A couple of Baileys, Coachman, Eldis, and Ariba. So they're the manufacturers that I'm concentrating on this week. There'll be some other stuff as well but that's so far so make sure you've subscribed please uh, thumb up the video if you liked it um i'll thumb it down if you didn't you know it's up to you thanks for watching and there'll be some more nec content coming i say nec content i mean i know there's loads of nec stuff right but these are caravan reviews so look at it that way not necessarily nec stuff thanks for watching quality caravan vlogging. <laughs>